Hey, I'm Aaron, welcome to my channel. And today I will be covering all of the clothes that I will be bringing with me on my AT 2023 through hike attempt. So starting with the clothes that I'll be wearing, um, starting from the bottom up uh, on my feet, I'll have the Topo Athletic Ultra Venture 2s. Uh, inside of those, I have some Dr. Scholl's insoles to help with my high arches. Uh, for socks, I've got a pair of Njinji uh, toe liners and some darn tough socks. Moving up from there, I've got a pair of uh, Patagonia uh, shorts. Um, they've got the built-in liner. So really comfortable, lightweight, and this will be what I'll be hiking in daily. Shirt I'll be wearing and hiking in daily uh, is the Patagonia um, Capeline Cool Daily, I think it's called maybe, I don't know. It's uh, hooded and it's got long sleeves. Uh, so you'll be seeing me in the, if you watch my videos, you'll be seeing me in this quite a bit. On top of my hiking shirt, when it's really cold, my mid layer is a fleece. It's from REI and uh, it's really comfortable. It's got a kangaroo pouch and thumb holes and a nice fitted hood. Moving on to the clothes that will be in my bag. I keep them all in this pump sack. This actually inflates my sleeping pad as well. And this will be inside of a Nyla fume bag inside of my pack to keep it all dry. So let's dig inside my in pack clothes. So I've got two more pair of Darn Tough, one other for hiking, and then this will be dedicated just for sleeping. So that'll always be dry, so I'll have dry socks to wear to bed. I've got an additional kind of mid-layer shirt that I'm gonna be bringing. I've really debated whether or not I'm gonna bring this one or not. Uh, it's not very heavy. I'm starting in February, so it's gonna be cold. So I just feel like I, I need one more layer uh, it'll be kind of versatile in case my mid layer fleece gets wet. I'll have this. Um, so it's just one more option. This may not make it, but I think it probably will. I can always send it home when, once it warms up a little bit as well. Also inside my pack, I've got a pair of pants. I don't normally hike in these, but when I do, they're very comfortable. Uh, these are from North Face. They're about 10 ounces. Uh, it's just kind of versatile to have a pair of pants if I want to wear them in town. Uh, if it gets really cold, I can wear them. So uh, I'll be starting out with these. Um, may not keep them the whole time. My sleep layer is just a base layer. This is some inexpensive Reebok thermal uh, foam pants. And then just a old synthetic um, base layer shirt. Something that I've had for a really long time, but it's really warm and one more pair of Njinji liner socks. Uh, so I'll switch out with those when it gets, when the other pair gets wet. So for a rain jacket, I've got this North Face Venture 2 rain jacket. It's one that I had already. Um, it's fine. It's got pit zips. Uh, the hood is highly adjustable. I've worn it hiking in the rain quite a bit. It's okay. Um, I mean, it keeps the wet, the rain out as much as it can. Uh, you're either getting wet from the outside or from the inside. I sweat a ton, and so um, the pit zips help, help with this. But anyway, it's, um, it's what I've got, and so I'm going with it. I don't think there is a perfect rain jacket. So uh, the puffer that I'm wearing uh, is the Decathlon 4 Class Trek. 100. Uh, anyway, uh, inexpensive. I think I got it on sale for like $60, but it's an 800 fill um, down jacket and very warm. It's got a nice hood um, and elastics on the hems and the cuffs. So this will be my um, static uh, puffer for when it's super cold out in camp. S topping off kind of my winter gear for cold. Uh, keep all this inside of my buff in my pack but so I've got a, a buff so this is actually kind of part of my sleep system as well so um, I can put this over um, over my face um, so while I'm sleeping so this will help I can also hike with it it's around it's multi-purposes you know it's a buff gotta have one um, I've also got a beanie um, this one is uh, from Paca so it's, it's really lightweight, but it's warm. I think it looks all right. 
hopefully that'll keep me warm. Um, that's also kind of part of my sleep system as well. And then for my hands, I've got some uh, possum uh, down down possum gloves. Uh, these are super warm, uh, warmth to weight ratio, and they're not super durable. Uh, I hike with the trekking poles, and, and I've heard that these can wear out. Um, so on top of these, I've also got uh, a pair of mittens that I can wear. I can either wear these, you know, just as a standalone, um, or I can wear them over top of the gloves if I need to. Um, these are Gore-Tex uh, and keep the rain out as well. So this, this will be part of the part of the way I keep my hands dry and warm. So that is it. That is all that I'm bringing. I feel like probably could save a little bit of weight uh, with some of these clothes choices um, but I'm starting February 23rd it's gonna be cold and I don't want to be freezing and I want to make sure that I have options and that I'm safe and relatively comfortable so I've tried all of this out um, I feel comfortable with it um, and it's the gear that I'm going with I will post a link to my lighter pack or at least the gear choices the clothing choices um, on my lighter pack in this video so let me know what you think um, have I made good choices is there anything that you'd switch anything you'd uh, add I'm not gonna add anything <laughs> anything you'd switch um, or uh, any suggestions you can make uh, certainly open to hearing advice from from other folks that that have done it Thanks for checking out my clothing video. And uh, if you would like to follow along with me on my journey, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'd love to have you uh, come along with me. Next couple of gear uh, uh, videos that I do will be the rest of my gear that I'll be bringing um, 20 days till I start. So it's getting close.